Hello everyone, welcome to the for Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use pre-process function in your custom theme. Okay, in previous video, we have seen about how to override your template. And now we are going to create a pre-process function for that particular tweak. So this is my uh, article. And here you can see this is loading from my custom theme. And the file name is node-full.html.tweak. Okay, so now I have to go to my... Uh, custom theme and in the info file in the root of your custom theme you have to create a new file called custom underscore theme dot theme okay and here you have to open the php and then uh, implements hook underscore preprocess underscore hook and then function here you have to see the two hooks are there, right? First hook represent the theme name, so which is custom underscore theme here. And second hook represent the tweak file, which tweak file you want to alter the variable or add new variable. So that you have to mention here. And here it is custom underscore theme underscore pre process underscore and then node. Here you can see the file name is node-full.html. When you use here, here you have to replace all iPhone iPhone with the underscore underscore, which means node underscore underscore full. Okay. So uh, when you use only node.html.twig, you, you have to use only node here. Underscore underscore full is not required. And then Amazon dollar variables. And here. I am going to get the current user dollar user equal to Rupal colon colon current user and then here I am going to check if the current user is not anonymous. Is anonymous means I am adding new condition is uh, authenticated if the user is not authenticated i am going to add new class dollar class new okay so that is anonymous class okay if the user is not authenticated i am adding new class for the tweak file this is added you can copy this and this you have to pass under the variables. Okay. Variables. So whatever name you are using here, the same name you have to use it here. Okay. And then I'm going to copy the class name variable. And here, here we are setting the classes for the article tag. So I'm just going to add this tag here, class name. Okay. For the article tag. Once that is done, now go to your... Uh, Right, and you have to clear a catchy because we implement a new hook here. So the page is loaded when you search for article. So this is the article. Here you can see we don't have class of anonymous class. Let me copy and paste it on the and inspect here and search for article. So this is article tag. So here you can see anonymous iPhone class is added. So here we don't have the class because the user is not authenticated. Here the user is not authenticated. So we added the class with the help of the preprocess function, okay? So this is how you have to create your own preprocess function for the tweak and you have to replace the variable or you can add new variable, whatever you want. All customization you can do with this preprocess function. Okay, and that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.